In this tutorial video, I will explain how you can create a very basic Arduino theremin. A theremin is an instrument which can be played by creating melodies by manipulating electromagnetic fields using hand and finger movements. Our Arduino theremin will be quite primitive by comparison, but at the very least, the sound output should at least change once the device detects movement directly above it. You will need a light dependent resistor, an active buzzer, an 82 ohm resistor, a 220 ohm resistor, an Arduino with an Arduino cable, and a variety of jumper cables. A more detailed image and a full list of these components can be found at link 1 below. If you are unfamiliar with resistor values, a 220 ohm resistor will have two red bands, a brown band and a gold band. An 82 ohm resistor will have grey, red, black and gold bands. Connect the components exactly as shown in this diagram. This diagram can be found at link 2 below. The cables will need to be reasonably long to stretch from the breadboard to the Arduino. It is also worth remembering that the breadboard has polarity, so it has positive sections as well as negative sections on both the top and the bottom. So when you check the schematic diagram, please be careful to ensure that you do not connect wires into the positive section, which are meant to go into the negative section, or vice versa. You should remember that these sides flow horizontally and that these sides in the center flow vertically. You should also remember that there is actually no connection across the center of the breadboard. So if you want this side to connect to this side, you're actually going to have to connect them using either a lead or a component. If you are new to working with Arduino, it's important to note that the USB end of the cable goes directly into the computer and the other end of the cable goes into the Arduino. It's also necessary to download the Arduino IDE software. You can find it in the notes below. If your Arduino is functioning correctly, you should see this light turn on when it is connected. If you have already installed the IDE, then you should search for it using Finder if you're on a Mac OS. And once you open up the Arduino IDE, you want to make a new program. Once the Arduino is connected and the IDE open, make sure you select the name of the USB port it is plugged into. Click on Tools, go to Port, and find the number of the port you've plugged it into. Now, go back to the new script which you opened earlier. You can simply copy and paste the script from the document which I have provided at link 3 below this video. After that, if you have already connected your Arduino cable and chosen the correct port, then simply click Upload. If you have done everything correctly, you should hear the buzzer making a sound, which should change when your hand passes over the LDR. If it doesn't work, you should also carefully check all the wires and components are connected exactly as they should be connected and compare them closely to the diagram. You may also want to switch components. The Arduino itself, as well as the Arduino cables, can sometimes be the culprit, especially if components are old. Also check your components and jumper wires are in the correct ports of the Arduino, and if possible, try replacing the buzzer with a newer one.